Hey everyone, it's me, Cheeseman78, and I have another video for you guys today. And what this series is going to be about, this mini series, is I've noticed tons of people, you know, they don't like spending money, and I'm right there with you. I don't like spending money, money either. So one of the things I've learned to develop a skill for, if you can call it a skill, is getting the po the cheapest possible Steam games that you can get. And I mean like cheaper than cheap, cheaper than the Steam sales cheap. So that's what this mini series is going to be covering, and uh, I hope I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope it benefits you. Now this first video is just going to be an introduction to trading. Um, well, no, no, this video is going to be an introduction to uh, the Steam sale and how it works. My bad. The next video is going to be trading. But so, if you already know how the Steam sale works and you feel like you have a good idea of you know, when to buy and when not to buy, and cards, go on ahead and skip this video, uh, to the next video, which is the basics of trading, which you'll probably want to watch, because most people won't know everything I have to say in that one, and then the final video is definitely going to be a one that you want to watch. Okay, so, let's open up Steam, and as we can see, it's a summer sale. So, daily deals, new deals, in an hour and 58 minutes. If you want any of these nine games... Thought I said, um, do not buy them now. Even though it says it ends in an hour and fifty-seven minutes, don't buy them now. Uh, these flash sales, it says it ends in an hour and fifty-seven minutes. If you want these games, in these four games or some of these games or something you want, get them now because they're only going to be like this price for an hour and fifty-seven minutes, potentially. Because what happens is that final days of the Steam sale, they have an encore. So some of the best titles, like Bioshock Infinite, might be, you know, on sale again. Okay, so now we're down to yesterday's big deals. And up here, I said do not buy any of these games right now, because they're daily deals. Down here, you have yesterday's big deals. If there's something in here that you want, buy it. The reason being is this is the last time it's going to be on sale, most likely. Unless it's on the Encore. But up here... Let's click on this. Game Dev Tycoon. 25 more hours until it goes off sale. So what you can do, you can have your current set of games that you want. Say we want this game. We wait till tomorrow. This game's gonna be here, where XCOM is. And we're gonna have an entirely new set of games. So, you know, say I want a new game that's on sale. But, I, uh, you know, I wanted Amnesia, but I changed my mind because, you know, this game's better, so I saved money. Because I spent, uh, you know, I didn't waste my money on Amnesia when I wanted this game over here more. Uh, I wanted it more. So, that's, that's the basis of actually trading. Now, uh, one of the things... Where's... Let's go to cards. So, if we go to my profile... Let me go to my inventory. Let me go to community. Oh, I don't have any, but because I sold them all. <laughs> One of the things you can get by uh, just wait for this to load. Cool. One of the things you can get are cards, and you get these cards by playing games. So I'm gonna play Bastion. Uh, I'm only gonna get one card because I've already played hours in that game. But you don't actually have to play these games. All you, all you have to do is idle on them, and that means just opening up the application file, the exe, or if you're on Mac or Linux, it's something else, and just waiting. Alt tab, do something else, you'll get cards. Now, what are the cards used for? Well, if we go to the market, you can see that. These cards, these are special cards. Um, I'll explain these in a minute. You can sell these cards for real life money. So if you want the best value, you want to idle, and then you want to sell these cards. Now this is pretty basic, and this is not, you know, something, this is something that everyone knows. And, um, well, most people know at least. And the problem with this, the reason why I don't do this, is because it's honestly a waste of it's not a waste of time, but if you have absolutely no money, or if you're on a super, super cheap budget, this is this is one of the ways you can get money. 
as you can see, I have 399. This is all from, you know, uh, selling cards or selling other items. So, um, yeah, that's one of the things you can do if you absolutely, you know, have no money whatsoever. But if you, the one of the uh, ways to, th that's not the way to get the most amount of money. So, what are we going to talk about next? Key prices. Uh, community market. 230 for a key. Right now, $2.30. Now, why do you need to know about keys? Well, keys are kind of important when you go into trading. And trading is going to be what my next video is about. But uh, when you trade, the general consensus among the trading community is uh, keys are currency, basically. And keys derive from TF2, and you get keys by idling in TF2. Now, that's not really an efficient thing to do. I mean, it, people can do it, but that's not what I'm recommending you do. Uh, you, you get you get items in TF2, then you craft for refined, and then you can trade the refined for keys. Uh, it just takes a long, long time to get a key that way. And that's, you know, a lot of work for $2.30 when you can be saving more uh, later on. I'll show you how. But, yeah, that's keys. Uh, you need to you need to know what these are. You need to buy these. There's other ways to buy these, which I would recommend. I would not recommend buying them off the community market because if we go to buy, you can see that thirty cents is being thrown away. So you can obviously get these for cheaper somewhere else. I would say even cheaper than this. Uh, I'll show you that later though. But so that's the the basics and the introduction for Steam and cards and keys so next time i'll sh talk more about uh the basics of trading uh what is a good trade what's a bad trade uh game prices things like that so i'll explain that next video and i'll see you then hey i'm back so one quick thing that i forgot to mention actually two quick things that i forgot to mention the first being don't buy a game unless it's either in yesterday's big deals or in a flash sale. I, I didn't I didn't say that properly, but those are two things that you want to know uh, for the introduction. And so like this game, it's $23.99 for Skyrim right now. Don't buy this. Even though it's 40% off, don't buy it. Unless it's either the last day of the Steam sale or it's on the flash sale or it's on yesterday's big deals. The other thing I want to mention really quick is a myth about cards. Some people say that since this has... Well, not this one, because this is an exception. TF2. This game has nine cards, so that means you need to idle in TF2. Well, no, not necessarily, because uh, although you're going to get more cards to sell, the card prices are going to be lower than if you were to do Bastion, and you would only get two cards... But each of these cards say they're 30 cents each. These are going to be like 3 cents each. You're going to make more money by idling with the fewer cards because they're going to be more rare than all of these cards. So, because I remember I heard someone say once that, you know, oh, this game has more cards. Do this one because you're going to get more money out of it. Eh, not necessarily. So, that's something I, I wanted to quickly mention before we move on to the next video. And uh, besides that, that's, that's all I got. So, see you in the next video. For real this time.